Guys, we're back in here with Stephen Youngson, Al Thompson, me, Ryan McCready, and today we have Jack Trainer. What's happening, lads? Thanks for having us on. Jack? No bad, no bad. How are you? Uh, good, good. <laughs> 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 Why have you started that? Like Off to a fucking flyer already, <laughs> Ryan. Thank you. <laughs> no, so what's been happening? How was your Glasgow Comedy Festival? I was good, man. Took it easy. Um, didn't do my own show or anything like that this year. Mm. Terrible organising stuff. <laughs> no, That's how I've got they too with me. Because <laughs> I'm a shambles. I mean, if I didn't do things with people, I'd still be in the house. I'd have just made the Jack Trainer Instagram comedy page and then we'd have left it at that, man. <laughs> but no, I just, um, i done a few spots and stuff like that. Uh, jumped on a couple of Wholesome Prison Blues shows um, in the jails and stuff like that. And then had a... Done a, done a gig with Tattoo Dave eh, and Paddy Linton inside Berlini for the comedy festival mm -hmm. where we got it registered as like an official venue of the festival, <laughs> which was quite cool. But you couldn't buy tickets or anything like that. <laughs> the only no, way I get... could. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Two pot noodles and a wang, can we let you in? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's something we might like talk about, the prison gigs. Aye. You enjoying them? I mean, they're a good laugh. Um, mm. Just going up and down the country with like other comedians and then having to do a gig... Um, <laughs> let alone it be in jail's already going to be a laugh. The fact that you've got that heightened added factor of it, the venue is a captivated audience <laughs> that one can he leave and two can he tweet about how shite your set was. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, like when you go in, um, you talk to some of the inmates and stuff like that, uh, some of the people that work in the prison, and you talk to them, and you're like, you find out what other things go in and on. Um, what they put on for them and it's like some fucking contemporary thespian art piece about Shakespeare and all that <laughs> some guy it's fucking <laughs> stabbed his grand I shook somebody to death <laughs> it's hardly gonna sit there and watch Othello all the way through do you know what I mean so when we go in and start talking about jamming eckies down the end of your cocks and fucking <laughs> and making your dad disappointed they just they, their face lights up man they love it some of the best gigs I've can, done something they can uh, right. relate to yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny Paddy Lint and Mikey Motion go in and it's just a game oh mate how you doing I've not seen you in ages <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Jamie how's it <laughs> you owe me eight Christmases you cunt <laughs> it's a good laugh man but um, some, some, some brilliant gigs some awful ones in there as well mm -hmm. um, I've not got the, no the ability to be like Oh, it's all about rehabilitation and stuff like that. I'm just getting for a laugh, fucking with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're just one of the lads. classic you do that, man. I guess I'm, that is mint. You know what I mean? Because it's a quality like, thing to do. Mm. What was it like, it the, like the, first, the first show you went in? Were you, how were you feeling getting into it? Mate, I was shite myself. I thought it was like, going to be something at film. I thought I'd have been holding somebody's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd have came out with a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting with your legs kicking in there, writing to him every week. <laughs> How's the chips? <laughs> Aye, oh, what's to do with the chips as well? Mate, oh. <laughs> See this myth that prison food's shite? I mean, we're definitely getting preferential treatment. <laughs> You're getting the good ones. I forgot this could be clipped up in a pure James English podcast where there's guys on like, oh, I had to fight off 18 men just to live. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, we go and have a laugh and have chips. <laughs> Some guy fucking ruined his life doing a 25 year stretch. I'm going in being like, so what about Ukraine? <laughs> I have, I have, I have shot myself going in once. Um, got a bit bold and started doing crowd work in Berlin. And um, <laughs> <laughs> doing crowd work in Berlin. I know. What do you do for a living? <laughs> <laughs> um, just doing. I was got talking to this guy right, and he had like I thought this was quite funny. He had like turkey teeth in, slick back hair. Definitely get caught with all sorts of prop, right? <laughs> and um, like the way he had these slick back hair and all that, he looked like Jack Grealish. So I started calling him, started calling him Crack Grealish. <laughs> Right, and he didn't have the same reaction Jesus did. He did not find it funny at all, right? So I went up to him at the end and I was like, ah, cheers for being a good sport, mate. And he just hit me with one of them. <laughs> one of these sort of flinching things, mate. I've never ran so fast in my life. I was behind the guard, pure kidding on me. I'm sorry. Like, shut myself, man. You went, but. Sorry, the chips. Shots, prison. <laughs> 
I can't get by this. Sh- the prison, the the chips and shots, shots prison are unbelievable, right? See if we get the drones that take, and not we, I don't do any of that, but see the people that drone shit in. <laughs> see if they just banged a portion of chips in the bottom, go to bad boys and deliver a forty pound a portion minimum. <laughs> Salty people. Fa- oh mate, I could do a forty minutes on the chips and shots. <laughs> Because I stay no far for shots and <laughs> you're looking to get in. <laughs> but Can I've been to a few of their takeaways and it's no good, so I can't <laughs> imagine the prison is the best place to get I, chaps. I doubt, I doubt the shots prison are phoning up Kebab King in the main street <laughs> to get the catering done. They're making them in there. No, no. But well, she's the other way around. Ah, yeah, how is it possible that the shorts prison is the best place to get chaps and shorts? I don't, they also, every inmate game, when they walk in, gets. A Rolex watch, a brand new iPhone, and a massive telly. It's, uh, it's, yeah. it's insane, man. Honestly, they, like, there's a reason all the Daily Mail readers they should be going mental. Like, <laughs> I seen a I seen a guy in there with gold teeth. I seen a boy eating his chips and then just wiped his face with a fifty quid note. <laughs> They've turned them plastic now, though, uh, and that would never have uh, to well too. That was a bad idea. Folk are going to believe that. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Good, man. Oh, get it. that clipped up out of context. <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> oh, so okay. how did you get started doing comedy? Or is it just because folk were laughing at you anyway, so you may as well go and get paid for it? <laughs> Mate, pretty much, man. It was fucking... Spent my full life people laughing at me, and I was like, shit, cunts, cunts get paid for this? No way. <laughs> It's me been doing fucking free homers this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I went into, went into lockdown, like, I think quite a lot of people. Um, went into lockdown, I didn't have any qualifications, ni uni, ni college. Shocker. I know. Uh, <laughs> me, no being an upstanding model member of society. <gasps> See, if I was, I fucking wouldn't be here. I'd be content being a painter and decorator and I'd enjoy my life. Instead, I, of, instead I need to try and make fucking strangers laugh just to feel <laughs> off an upstanding upstanding member of the community you went to was paint on deck yeah I know <laughs> every one of them was scumbags <laughs> every one of them has been to your prison gigs <laughs> sort of there brilliant man <laughs> hey, sorry what were you saying <laughs> how'd you get in here how'd you begin in here um, just came out of lockdown I've always had it in the back of my head always been a pure wind up merchant in school I wasn't bad or anything like that like I wasn't a pure fucking getting expelled or suspended all the time. I just didn't listen enough, really, to, to cause any much, enough bother. I was tuned to the moon, like, staring at the windies. Like, uh, I've said in another part of the podcast, every class that I'd done well in, it's, like, had a shite view for the windy. It's just like a, it's like a, like a tree or bins or something like that. Right, see if it looked onto a motorway, it was done. <laughs> so it's fin- I just Did they like the scenery? No, the trees. Just, <laughs> just movement, man. <laughs> just movement. You're like me then, you're riddled with ADHD. Oh, fuck, I man. See, if I'd done maths in a padded room, I'd have, fuck, I'd have been like Einstein. <laughs> but no, I could see the dual carriageway, so... <laughs> so I was fucked. I love the fact you're watching 1.2 oh. later fiestas flying down this dual carriageway, no listening to a, a single thing your teacher's saying. Nah, and better, that's enjoyment. <laughs> it's, aye, that's much better than Pythagoras. <laughs> pa- why would I watch Pi when I can look at a McGee's van, do you know what I mean? <laughs> He's far fucked. I suppose it was only me that got that one up. (laughs) (laughs) So you've done some cracking gigs, man. You've been away with like fucking. (laughs) Fucking. (laughs) Is it you? It's the edible fucking hell. (laughs) Just got that. You just got my geese, is that right? Aye, five on. I don't even (laughs) like the day pies. It's rolls in that. Rolls. Fuck it, man. Tax scones. I like your tax scones. Aye, tax scones. Have you seen the Chinese that does salt and pepper tax scones? Aye. Shorten for them. Salt so, and pepper tax scones? Shorten and pepper tax scones and the day tatty for ours. What's your, what's your favourite tatty? <laughs> Roast tatty. You know what I mean? He's obviously telling you it's the chips out of fucking shots prison. That's yeah. the best tatty. <laughs> right? with, 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 with that, what's your favourite? I'm going for hash browns. Oh, you a big hash man? Ah, uh, hash browns. <laughs> that watches us. <this. laughs> Loves the hash. I've no accept any other answer on roast tatties. Oh, they're yeah. fucking elite what year is it mash man I know. <laughs> in the era mash, of the curly mash, fry no, you mash is the worst type of tatty mash is mash. the worst type of tatty nah. mash is the worst type of tatty you just can't even mash a tatty I'm Aye. surprised oh. that you <laughs> it's like <laughs> fucking I thought you said you're saying you're always mashing your tatty it's like my fault suck it that's super oh man. dear so do you think you've got ADHD do you think everyone here has got ADHD <laughs> I'm riddled with it. I think I've got it. I know. Gail was telling me to go and get tested for it. Test, but I'm like, 
What's know. the point? What's going to happen? Point. See, when I get tested for it, I just don't pack their medication, man. I love it. Cheers. But I probably should be medicated. Just tell them you could probably that, sell that. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> man, forget people watch this. That's good on you, mate. <laughs> 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 Why is it the you rattling? Is that, or is that, is that just American? A form of speed. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a form of speed. Ah, it's because the neurons in your brain don't fire fast. Everybody thinks it's you're too quick thinking. Uh, it's actually you're too slow at thinking. Because your neurons and they fire fast enough. So you're thinking about something, then before you reach the conclusion of your thought, you're thinking about something else. See, he can't mash tatties, but he's got <laughs> neuron pattern. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Aye, that probably answers your question. question. Uh, <laughs> I probably I think most people in comedy have got something up with them. They have to. Mm-hmm. The ones Aye. that are good at it, they. Like you see some people that go up there that are too put together, and you're just like, nah, man, this you just this isn't for you. Aye. It's, it's, too, it's Aye. gone too well. The comic exchange material about their stable economic disaster. No, that's that not right. Work, well. is it? <laughs> stable economic position. Posi- condition. You know what? You should have left it neurons, <laughs> mate. <laughs> You were flying high when you were on pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and you went, hold on, I can Trevor McDonald this <laughs> time back there. Uh, so what about tensions in the Middle East, guys, you know? <laughs> the only reason you knew about neurons is because of Jimmy Utron. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I'm actually quite chest? cover. <laughs> I'm good at playing the goat, but fuck me. You know, Jimmy, do you mind Jimmy Utron? Uh, <laughs> Jinky was shagging the robot dog. <laughs> Because, like, there's always that thing of people getting lonely and getting the peanut butter out if they have to. Uh, <laughs> what is that? Just a bit of WD-40 in the gooch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But... Innocence ruined Well, she thought about that. <laughs> See if it was real. It was Defo Nons with Dan Schneider, eh? Oh, you seen oh, this? Great. I'm, I, I mean, quite. Uh, I'll be very surprised if somebody in the comments doesn't bring up the fact you're talking about nonsense and a selic tap. So I'll just get in there first. <laughs> That's because we won or lost yesterday. <laughs> When's this it? Monday. Oh, so it's still plenty of time to change my name if we say something <laughs> terrible. <laughs> mm. oh, Aye, so did you see that Nickelodeon thing with Dan Aye. Schneider? No, I didn't. I was, I was like, what are you talking about? I didn't know it's, it's called Quiet On Set and it was Quiet about him set. just... It's about him just being a creep oh, to all the and and just Grandi all the shen- shenanigans have been on at Nickelodeon. He, oh, he was putting I mean, all sorts it? in the holes of SpongeBob, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's quite it's quite a kind of it's an eye opener. Aye, it's kind of blasey way to go about it. Calling it, what did you say? Quiet on set, you said or something. Aye, quiet on set. It's called. Aye, fuck, fuck that. Funny enough, I've seen that. It did get quiet on this set after mentioning it. Was, uh, but it, it was right. fucking rap. Right. Right. the Nickelodeon sign was a fat. A fat. It was massive, ninety feet apparently. Oh fuck! Is that what is that? Aye, aye. He was massive. Is that why everyone on it was dead short? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible feet height. Come on, first, <laughs> do you know what? First bomb. How far? How long in did we get? <laughs> Should I start with talking about neurons here, man? <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> I'm going to write a five on neurons now. You've given me the confidence. <laughs> <laughs> How are you getting on with the gigs in New York Hill? Aye. Well, I'll go and fuck <laughs> myself then. Aye, 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 aye. We had Chris, Chris and Woody on. In absolute uh, leather. insane. Aye. aye. It was the, I'm surprised you never heard it down here. <laughs> it was honestly, it was fucking yeah, insane. Absolutely. The place was packed, hey, that's the busiest I've seen the village. It's because it was the... Um, the bank hold the weekend. Aye. And they fit well enough, fuck all, so you mm. were a shoe in. Who was all on? Chris. Um, then somebody dropped it, and then I thought, oh, I can't get MD. And then I turned up and Ryan was stoned at the door. <laughs> that, <laughs> that'll be how it's sold, dude. They fall on their own. <laughs> we, we <laughs> start, no, no, don't. Stoned there with play piece. Ah, it's, uh, a, it's a brilliant... It's, <laughs> It is a brilliant gig that in there, like it's getting no right to be, it's pure tuck. Oh no, you're oh, talking no, about the aye. pub? Aye, we, we, aye. We, no, we, no, we don't do it in the club. <laughs> it's in the pub up, up the road. <laughs> there been a re- have you been chucked out after I hosted it? <laughs> no, I don't know what you're saying, we eat that, that, that was just a one half thing. Was that the just club? one half? And mm. then we moved, but the, the club's an absolute dive, man. I was <laughs> talking, I, thank fuck, because I was lying through my teeth and saying nice things about it. It was no. a festering <laughs> shit. It was. <laughs> Honestly. I walked in and four old guys instantly just went, all right, hey. <laughs> I'm going to get chinned before I even get to the right, man. <laughs> I walked in and I was like, uh, oh, we're in here for an event tonight. And they were like, oh, I'll try next door. And there was a christening on or some shit. You know what I mean? Like somebody's engagement party. Oh, I, they were and through. I, I, I never thought, oh, maybe it's the fucking comedy night through the back. Mate, it was insane. That, I know, I mean, seeing that, there was about 40 different things going on in the one boozers with like different <laughs> off shots. I was going in, there was a pub quiz. <laughs> I walked through a door expecting to see Alan. There's a guy just going, uh, what is the capital city of Peru? 
<laughs> next door you can just hear bits and pieces two people getting married <laughs> there's a communion outside <laughs> <laughs> tell what happened you tried to order a drink oh <laughs> did we tell I was telling us in the pod but I'll tell did you, you? <laughs> so I went up to the bar <laughs> and I was like what do you want and I'm like a pint of lager pal and she went don't call me pal <laughs> alright <laughs> and then I'm like what's your wifi code she doesn't need a password she went yellow with two L's <laughs> <laughs> she must have thought I was stupid or something <laughs> But we Did you room, yell? I'd shat myself that much. I was shaking <laughs> and put three L's. <laughs> so I'm like, that's no working, pal. And I just seen her eyes go, because of the way I talk. Right. <laughs> and I'm, she's like, I tell you two L's. And I've looked down and I'm like, I'll put three L's. See you later. <laughs> ah, it's just, it's my first interaction with us, woman. It had something to do with the fact you were walking about with your cock out that night. <laughs> <laughs> A slight detail that you failed to mention, <laughs> but I was there, I seen it. That's what she was raging. Kept dipping it in the pint, I think. That's a, like it was a fucking umbrella and tap of a cocktail. <laughs> Aye, I love doing that, just getting to crowd work your family. Aye, that, that, was, Aye. that was quite good. And, oh, and the so fact good. that you asked Stuart, oh, have you ever walked in and your brother wanked and he said, no, I should really give him a pint for that because he's done it a few times. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy, man! <laughs> oh dear! I Stuart used to do comedy. Did he? I, I mm-hmm. used to do um, years years ago. I think he, he gigged with Romesh Ranganathan when he was just coming up and stuff like that. That's and wild, man. Gigged with Gareth Waugh and the other Gareth. Much? Much? Aye, and gigged with all the eights. <laughs> <laughs> just does a wee number <laughs> off the <laughs> set. He gets five minutes until it's one joke. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even believe we got a Gareth Gates shout in the podcast, man. <laughs> he was, do you know he was in like the Squidward musical or the aye, Spongebob aye. He was playing Squidward in the Spongebob musical, Gareth Gates? Who, what was the rest of the cast? <laughs> you can't leave that there. That's the only one I've seen. That was, uh, that's, I, I don't, why did I not check that out, man? That must have been a fucking Who's series. Who's Gareth Gates? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you were probably about two and a half weeks old whenever uh, Gareth Gates uh, was in the It was Pop, pop Idol, wasn't it? Aye, uh, the first aye. one. The very first it, Pop it, Idol. He came second. Uh, in pop was Idol. No, that was what, was young, I don't know what Will Young, young. Will Will young, young I went to see Will Young at Tea in the Park it was one of the best <laughs> oh, right. it was one of the best sets I've ever seen in my life in the slam tent right. <laughs> Sandra <Root> Poppers <laughs> <laughs> oh brilliant <laughs> just imagine what, like Al with like they mad hippies with all the bands for the festivals ah oh, fucking Will Young slam tent came <laughs> <laughs> after Milo it was class <laughs> Milo. <laughs> oh. oh man, no. fuck's sake! Oh, right, I was going to ask you about twenty minutes ago, but we started talking shit. Like you were on uh, gigging a room with Daniel Sloss. Um, Did you know? I done one gig. I think you told me. Nah, 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 nah. Ah, I done, right. done, done one gig. Um, just done a wee five minute spot up in Aberdeen. Ah, man. right. But nah, nothing, nothing, nothing like after <laughs> that. <laughs> this whole time I was like, oh, you went and toured with Daniel Sloss, haven't you asked me about that? No, I thought, you know what it's like with the comedy industry? Like, one thing happens and folk could be like, do you hear Jack? He's, um, he's shagging Joe Rogan. <laughs> 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 nah, it was cool. Just done a, got, to do a, got to jump on to a gig that he was doing, part of his tour up at the Aberdeen Comedy Festival, but it wasn't a part of an actual tour show. There was a bunch of other comedians on, myself, Daniel P. Can we answer that on pod? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on. It's just went off its dinger. Reminding you to take your medication. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know hear that? I said better make sure we put these on silent. Uh, like uh, we started the I, thought, I thought I did. But it was going off its dinger there. Oh well. Well the other one I was going to watch, I, I, I love the TV show The Scots, man. One day I'm watching it and Jack Trainer pops up in it, man. That's fucking class. Aye, that was mental, man. Especially like being younger and... Um, like watching and quoting Burniston with all my pals and stuff like that and then getting to what we eaten and Rab was just was just crazy. And then the way it came about as well, like just um somebody messaged Naz saying up oh, right. uh, emailed him and then he sent me he didn't forward me the email, he sent me a screenshot of the email <laughs> which sums up the cop like people in comedy, man. I love that. <laughs> uh, shout out Naz, good guy. Um but went and auditioned for that just at the start of the fringe. And he auditioned for a character called Crack Pipe. <laughs> I know, typecasted already, <laughs> but I went method. I was on a come down and sleeping under a bridge for four days. <laughs> Started sucking cock for Crack Rocks. 
I didn't. I didn't have to do that. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, you I, was, into the I, was, I was already doing that anyway. <laughs> It's a coincidence. I know. It turns, out, <laughs> turns out I was made for this role. <laughs> I always like I, w- I went to do that, but um, found out because I was playing a character like that. Um, I wasn't to cut my hair or shave or anything like that. There's no like a new season or anything like that. <laughs> you know? Just being a lazy bastard and kind of be arsed with it. Um, I've got to start telling folk that I'm growing it for a fucking acting role. <laughs> Cast away too, man. <laughs> You won't get away with that with certain things. Like you can't start blacking up and saying you're doing sister act in a few weeks. <laughs> Only really works for the hair, unfortunately. But I so uh, went and auditioned for it. <laughs> Found out I got it and um... get a circumcision for Schindler's List. <laughs> How everyone, is that not because, because, because everyone wears trousers in the film. They've been needing for it. <laughs> <laughs> is it no pajamas? No, is it no? Uh, <laughs> Do you think he's one of the enemies? He's playing a guard. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh dear. So did you? <laughs> did you get any? <laughs> Fuck up. So acting in that, no, I, have, uh, you, have you thought about doing it anymore? Or I definitely, man. I've always been a bit of a thespian. Like I'm, I really love polo <laughs> Who club you and stuff. Who's a thespian? Oh fuck, man! <laughs> this is too much, man. <laughs> Have you seen that on TikTok? No. <laughs> the two last I've the never. I was just you, I just thought I was a... uh, Who you calling a lesbian, you fat fucking shit? <laughs> you ever seen that? No. You've seen Sweet Home all the time. Hello, young Jamie. Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so, uh, you've always been a lesbian? I've always been like, acting and stuff like that. Um, I've done, I done... In fact, I haven't really. I've done the school show. Ah, so done. <laughs> um, instantly typecasted as the fat funny guy. Do you know what I mean? Um, I was never getting like heartthrob that saves the day. I'm getting tree two or specky nons five. <laughs> I want to up a school show with you there. There was four other specky nons. <laughs> <laughs> History of the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Catholic school, Stephen. So. <laughs> Nativity gets a bit wild when, when it gets to the barn scene. <laughs> I want. I once played a janitor on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the fuck is a janitor. I don't think that was in the TV. I just thought you weren't allowed to do English. <laughs> Go and hang about with the janitor. <laughs> this is your fat Ryan. <laughs> oh. Well, I, when I when I done the show, I was uh, I was Elton John, right, and I was like, hosting. And there was another. This is going. This might. What need, was the show? This might need to get cut, but it was like the or. Oh, fuck me, I don't know if I can't believe I'm telling this. But it was like a like talent show. And there was always a guy that got up there that he was like quite heavily disabled. And he would got up and he would always sing and it was always like fucking great. Like everybody was everybody was always up laughing. And then his name his name was Donald, right? And then another guy was hosting it and he was hosting it as Ozzy Osbourne. Right? <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. And he he, wa- he walked out like this. No. Dead slow. And somebody for the audience shouted, Go Donald! <laughs> She thought, it, she thought it was him. <laughs> I think about that once a week at least. Oh, <laughs> it's gotten that was before oh, the bit... days I've written getting recorded, man. That would have went ultra. I know, oh, man. Oh, oh, tell me. <laughs> I bet oh, you the person who shouted that still thinks about it every oh, day. I know, man. I, you've got. I, oh. I'm not pers- I've, I had one of the moments uh, the other week at a gig. Um, I, I was talking to the fantastic and wonderful Cubby. Um, who's, who's a brilliant mm-hmm. comedian oh, going great, about the uh, Scottish circuit? Uh, he's also a blind. He's also blind. Um, and he, he caught me. He was met, bumped into me at a gig, and he was like, "Oh, I've messaged you on um, Messenger, Jack, but my phone had broke at the time, so my screen was all fucked." And uh, I tried to show him that, "Oh, I wasn't being a dick and patching the message, so just turned around my phone screen." And he was like, "Look," <laughs> and then realised what I'd done, so just turned the phone to the person he was waiting, went, "Tell him my phone's fucked." <laughs> Well, 
I, I done a I done a, oh. I done a gig with Cubby once. And, uh, I think he was meant to be opening, uh, but somebody else had to jump on because he was late. And, uh, as the guy that was opening was up, uh, Cubby walked in and he shouted, "Cubby, where the fuck have you been? <laughs> the fuck am I meant to know?" <laughs> <laughs> my favourite story is he was doing a show at the junkyard. See when it was, I think it was him, Colin Higgins, John Carruthers were doing pain sporting in the oh, junkyard, right, right. <laughs> and they were getting a photo took after it. And Cobby turned into Colin, went point me in the direction of the wall, so I think I'm looking the wrong way. <laughs> Aye, he, he done that for the one I done. He's fucking brilliant. Such man. a good sport. Man. Oh, oh, so anytime good, you man. see him, and you're like, good to see you, Cobby. He's like, good to hear you, mate. <laughs> He's fucking mm. phenomenal, he's man. Ah, he's he's need to get him on here. That'd be a brilliant ah, guest. Oh, that would be, be actually, aye. Oh, class, man. <laughs> 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 we'll try and get Donald on as well. I think that's <laughs> okay. I wish I hadn't used his real name. <laughs> you used the real name. It's no his real name. Ah, that's right. It's no his real name. <laughs> it's Ronald. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually you. That's the story. <laughs> <laughs> Getting care to it. What are they winches? <laughs> like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> you did a Ford lift there. I've been seeing all that in my fucking belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh. So what's your plans for the future? I just don't want to have a real job, mate. <laughs> oh. I don't oh, do it. Like. <laughs> No, even in like a pure wanky, like, oh, that's, uh, I'm above that. I just Aye. can't, I'm shit at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shit at everything, like, genuinely, apart from just talking shit. So I just want to try and talk shit for the rest of my life. <laughs> if you make a living off it, you fucking won the lottery, do you know what I mean? Totally. But even if I was making nothing off this, I would still be doing something and then doing all this on the side kind of thing. Mm. Mm-hmm. But the game plan is, you will know yourself, make stuff, get an audience, Sell tickets, rinse and repeat, <laughs> throw in it. Aye. Aye. See what it takes you. Yeah. I don't want to pigeonhole myself, I'll do anything. Love Island. <laughs> SES who dares to call me Aye, anything. <laughs> Hand jobs behind the bins. <laughs> Is that so you can see them at the fucking windy whenever the other cunts are trying to do their maths <laughs> and all that? Like, give them something interesting to watch rather than just the bins. <laughs> Then they'll fail whatever class that was or not. <laughs> nah, I did, man. I failed Duke of Edinburgh. You failed Duke of Edinburgh? I never even done it, man. I was just riffing. I've, I've <laughs> I, don't I was going even... to say, how have you failed golf camp? I don't, <laughs> I don't think they'd have, like, like offended fire them. and all that. <laughs> nah, no ch- Plus, I didn't like beans. I couldn't go out there and I'd sleep in a fucking big, big tracky with a pole in it, eating beans with a pure pedo art teacher or something like that. <laughs> I think that was after a mass. What the fuck is this? Duke of Edinburgh. Aye. Basically, what happens is there was this class, right? And like you go in, and it would usually be like the dodgier teacher, and then they would teach you like about the Illuminati and stuff like that, and just like <laughs> world preparing skills for if like the world was ending. It was like a Catholic school thing because like they believed in like the rapture and stuff like that. I went so to Catholic school, I, I, and I don't, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know why I have asked. I don't know why I have asked. We could have riffed on this. We could have convinced them that that was <laughs> real. Was and you happen. just put your foot in it. <laughs> It was the happen. Uh, I was going to no. be like, ah, it's like a doomsday prepper thing. <laughs> you, how to get radiation out of water, <laughs> uh, how to repent for all your sins, <laughs> and um, how to make s'mores. Well, I suppose if you put that down as your challenge, maybe getting radiation out of water could be used as part of your chicken, brother. I've my, never done it. What is it? What is it? See, my <laughs> experience with you, I don't really know, but my experience Golf was camp. I signed up for it because I thought it'd be a laugh. Realised it was a bunch of weirdos wanting it for uni, co- uni stuff. Oh, and I asked the teacher if I could bring my own knife and she'd help me on. I'm like, I'm away. <laughs> I brought it anyway. Uh-huh. <laughs> didn't even have Duke I only had fucking chemistry the day and I brought it. What would you need a knife for? What's going on? Because she told me it was camping. I might like, oh, need a knife mate. to go camping. In case he's hiking and he's got a hot knife about a solid. <laughs> Like this, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got fire started to heat, heat this plate up. <laughs> <laughs> golf camp, man. How, like, was it all? Was it all the golf? It was all the golfs and folk that were about to go to uni. Were you? I don't understand why any university would be like, right, we've got these two candidates. It's for medicine at Cambridge. Right, it's coming right down to the wire. Oh, we're going to pick the guy that knows how to boil a kettle in a flame. Do you know what I mean? Well, have you seen the state of the NHS? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some guy might have to fucking plug a wound with a t-shirt or something. <laughs> Take that back, man. That is quite valuable. Oh, there you go. 
<sighs> and now it makes sense. Uh, it often settles me if my surgeon knows how to read a compass. <laughs> <laughs> As long as you're laughing, Ryan. <laughs> uh, That's all I do. That's fun. I don't know how many times I need to tell you. I'm here to make myself laugh. <laughs> Just want to start a vicious rumour about a comedian. Just straight to you and see how far we can get it. Maybe not vicious. <laughs> we'll start one that's like niche that like Nady would make up. And just see like how if it can get back to you, <laughs> like if somebody else tells you it. But one of it, one of yours, like can I? <laughs> no, I don't, like who who's been on this? Uh, what was the team? I'm nah, he can fight, not him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pierce Higgins. Louis Pierce C. Higgins. <laughs> Pierce Higgins. Um, <laughs> we'll start telling everyone that Pierce Higgins his dad's the stink. <laughs> his dad's a snooker player. Oh, his dad's. Aye, but I think. <laughs> Because there's already that What's mystery, that, that, po- that, that mystery of like, oh, who's his dad? We'll just start spreading the rumours. John Higgins stay talk here. What the fuck are you on about? I know. He probably did. Uh, he's starting a reasonably priced car. Aye, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, I've done it. I've no thought about this rumour. I've just <laughs> plucked it at my arse. I doubt. Maybe. I get confused. Him thought his dad was Colin McRae. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Did him? Did he not die with his son in a helicopter crash? Aye. Uh, he Kobe that. He Kobe that. <laughs> Kobe. Oh, uh, did, Co- did Colin McRae Kobe or did Kobe Colin McRae? <laughs> uh, no. What is it? No, Kobe. Kobe Colin McRae. It. And who, who called, what was Colin, what did it mean before that? <laughs> Hindenburg in it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he Hindenburg it. Speaking of, right, what age you? <laughs> Hindenburg disaster. What age you? Uh, 25. What age were you? <laughs> 9 11, 2001. <laughs> Of course, it was going to come um, up. What age was I? Like two, three. Two, three. Two, three. What was your <coughs> What was your school experience with 9-11? Like, <laughs> it was the history. No, 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 I'm talking about like, history and stuff like that. Did the teacher anything? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, just like it was it was a, a part of modern studies at right. the time, but we mm. had this mental, like absolutely <laughs> mental modern studies teacher that was from Northern Ireland, and no matter what she would start off talking with, it always finished. By her shouting back, like you couldn't have an argument or anything where it would just end by far going, but the IRA bombed my village. <laughs> and you'd be like, Miss, I'm only asking if I can go to the toilet. The fuck, the fuck's this got to do with anything? <laughs> and we'd proper like be like, just just like bring the mood. You would try and talk about anything like American foreign policy, politics or something like that. You'd just get it right back to the troubles. <laughs> <laughs> He's all singing the ribs and. No, I've got tickets to sell in Glasgow, Al, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what is it selling anything? What's that t-shirt you have bossed in Celtic or something like that? I would know I'm a Queen's Park man myself. <laughs> I loved having Irish teachers. Because oh. they were all bonkers. I had a few. Mm-hmm. What subjects? History, science and <laughs> English. <laughs> An Irish history teacher teaching in the UK must be just like, uh, what did you know do? <laughs> oh, she talked about that. She used to let us have earphones in, right? So I was just sitting doing my work and I had my earphone in, singing away in that, and she went, Ryan, I know what day songs are. You're going to need to stop singing them in my class. It was fucking Fields of Athen, right? <laughs> but that's a really song, so. I know, but it was followed by all the songs. Yeah. <laughs> in words in Paris that he sung word for word. <laughs> that was that. That was a real kicker that got him in bother. <laughs> Fellas in Paris. No, but so, were, 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 you the, were, you the, were you the only person that had headphones in, can I? No, there was hundreds of I can imagine he was one of the pupils that wore headphones all day. It's <laughs> <laughs> too many loud noises. Fuck <laughs> off. Fell out of It was a crash. You had your headphones out there. He's back with his headphones. <laughs> we can talk about him. It's <laughs> no plug in it. <laughs> Your job you can put it in your jap. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yeah, if we'll not get away with that, man. <laughs> Why? I can't see that. I know. <laughs> can you <he> cut that? <laughs> I haven't even noticed. <laughs> Urethra is the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Aye, so my writing process. Um, <laughs> have you got a writing process? Aye, have you? I or are you like me where you just fucking go upstage and say what you want? I and no, like I've, I'll do a wee note on my phone or something like that, like Aye. like an idea, um, like I'll, the last one. Aye, I see. 
the last one I done was um let me see. So you've not got a spreadsheet and a pie chart like some folk. Oh, I've got go, I sleep like I'm dead in a casket. <laughs> Just like that, arms across my chest. It's so comfy. Nightmare in the summer, mind you, with the suit. <laughs> And um, I'm working on a bit about um, take that aliens <laughs> coming down to oh, just because uh, Robin Williams point. thinks that he's some Robin Williams. Robin Williams. That would have made flubber <laughs> interesting. <laughs> oh, can I just say, my brother is doing in York visiting his um, visiting his uh, family, his sister's family, stay in York, believe it or not. And uh, they were in a they were in a pub having having they like dinner maybe about five or six o'clock. And they had big screens, and it was showing the Robin Williams film World's Greatest Dad. Have you ever seen that? No, no. It- <laughs> was that God? I just-, <laughs> just heard a voice going through the void, man. Well, we'll wait the room. Because the film is about him covering up for his son dying for autoerotic fixation. Is that a strangle wank? Is that how he died? No, he, d- he just talked He just did a regular wank. <laughs> Somebody tell me it was a... No, I heard a mad thing that was like eating his brain and telling me to kill himself. Aye. <laughs> Away from a <her> right. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> I'm all married. I've got a lovely girlfriend. I'm sorry. <laughs> aye, aye, because it... Well, I was going to say... It never got hot in here or anything like that. It was just a hang, wasn't it? Aye, I think it was... Fu- I think it was... Um, Fell for the truth. Was, was it was a bad batch of Ekkies that... <laughs> It came in about 99 at Love Hearts or something like that. <laughs> Smiley faces. Took one of them and it was curtains for him. That's, <laughs> that's what Flubber was about. The inspiration was taken for the movement of his jaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this has been an absolute... I've loved this podcast. It's been an absolute We've pinfire. enjoyed having you. <laughs> uh, know. It'll just be Ryan introducing it and then I'll see you later. That'll be the full thing. Aye. Uh, Oh dear. So, uh, so your writing, <laughs> your writing process, are they actually like it? I, I don't really like. Just You're like me, it's a sink or swim. You come up with an idea, a couple of lines, and then you go and stay and see what it leads. Yeah, Aye. I don't, I find it hard, obviously. Probably going back to the looking at Wendy's during school. <laughs> I t- I've tried to be the comedian that's cutting about with a notepad and all that, and if I am so jealous of the ones that can do it, and they'll just write and they're really sort of like regimented, and it's like going to the gym and they'll know like, oh, I can do that X amount of minutes a day and all that. Like, I, just, I don't know how you do it. I just like get sprung awoke and just as I'm about to fall asleep at night and just get up and write something at three in the morning. I go last when I'm meant to be sleeping, alright, and when I'm meant to be doing something else mm. is when something comes to me. As soon as I sit down with a pen and paper and be like, right, here we go. I went, what about Ukraine? And I'm like, I can't <laughs> 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 pretty obsessed with Ukraine. I know, I've dropped them. I might just have to start saying another conflict somewhere else. <laughs> I think we're all right. I don't think there's anything going on. Nah. The um, world's quite peaceful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. <laughs> you genuinely don't know, do you? Know? I know. No, I do know. I do know, but I can't, I can't exactly deny it in the start. <laughs> Fuck's sake, we're constantly finding a few effort for it. <laughs> This podcast. Mm. <laughs> have you have you got the most toxic five sides team ever? <laughs> Just coming out with swastikas and all that. For Paul of the Canny one, they're special. Oh, bro, you know. Fact, you have just taking time out their day to fucking find a podcast for Glasgow. That'd be brilliant, man. It would be. <laughs> if Paul saw him, you have done. I don't like seeing him for Glasgow. Because I'm no. Neither do I always get chin for that as well. Like, if I go outside, uh, like Scotland, I'll always just say Glasgow because I'm not going to be like, Cumbernauld's just actually 15 minutes outside. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I'm not going to start explaining, like, um, I didn't hear any of that shit. The bus time table. I know, <laughs> so I'm just, I'll say it there, but I'll always like, because it's obviously got us like kind of reputation for getting slagged off like mm. Limmy and shit like that. And then having <laughs> a town centre that looks like a Aye, fucking that Eastern European or power power for is, man, that's fucking <laughs> diabolical. I got up there and start hearing fucking. <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> you definitely hung about it when you were younger. I can see you cutting about outside that. See, the thing is, I was near like that. I wasn't much of a wee bam or anything growing up. I was like, I used to just sit in and play the PlayStation, shit like that. <laughs> and then reinvented myself more in high school. <laughs> Started doing drugs and listening to the Stone Roses. That's when it really sort of kicked up a gear. But no, you would, 
Mind dogging it in school and going there a few times and then just being like, look, guys, let's just get back to school. <laughs> <laughs> it's just depressing. I've got windies to look at you. <laughs> <laughs> but I... I say I'm from Bushy if I'm in Glasgow, but anywhere outside of Glasgow, I say I'm Glasgow. I always want to say I'm from your hill. I, say I, I, I think folk, even if I'm in Liverpool or anything like that, I've only done Liverpool once. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> even there, I would say New York Hill. Because I think uh, enough famous folk have come from your Hill that I'm allowed to say it. How, who's off in your There we go. <laughs> There he goes. Elaine C. Smith. This is his no mastermind one. This is his mastermind folk subject. Fa- folk from your hill. Elaine C. Smith. Al Thompson. Al Thompson. Stuart Thompson. Uh, Bert Stuart Thompson. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you jo- just threw me off <laughs> Liz Lockhead John Venables The Poet Laureate <laughs> um, Gary McAllister Right mm-hmm. Oh yeah Barry Ferguson Brick Right that's I played football with his boy it. Is that it? Oh Chris Kane The fashion guy Do I look like an old fashion? No the name <laughs> rings a bell but Aye he's from your hill And then he invented the bear ghost, didn't he? I think so, eh? <laughs> I saw, they adopted at least. I saw somebody in, uh, in Edinburgh wearing a bear ghost, and I thought, this is the first time I've seen somebody wearing a bear ghost to use it for climbing. Aye. You know what I mean? They bring out a knife, and it's like a cheese knife. <laughs> They've still got rock pots on, but you talk to them like, oh, yes, yeah, so that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the real bams have got regatta, mountain <laughs> warehouse. <laughs> I walked by a guy the day just loudly shouting into his phone I'm not paying 40 quid for a Heli Hansen <laughs> and nearly followed him down the road because <laughs> he- he- things, things are shite and then they're good and then they're shite again like, I saw one of the folk this podcast that dipped in the middle <laughs> Like Alessi. Aye, oh. yeah, like I've got an Alessi tap on my That was the fucking gear whenever I was aye. in school. You know but what I mean? they've they've and come back. It was dying out when I went to school. Aye, it was cool when I first started going to high school. And then I've just it's Kappa so. back. Uh, yeah. When Kappa comes back, that's one of the harbingers of the apocalypse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Touching Kappa riding Penny Farling. <laughs> I, I oh shit, get the beans Get the fucking <laughs> I've just had a pair of Kappa button ups, mind <laughs> Right back Aye, they rubbed them off Do you never mean Kappa button ups? No, no. That's the, the worst way You get scanned I know There's <laughs> no recovery for that Aye, one just, they're, they're, yeah, right. just adding another angle For <laughs> scanning man. You could get down t- No, Aye. fuck that man Do you know what I miss? The super dry era I fucking love my super dry jacket Is that no Still gone no Yeah if you're an undercover cop <laughs> <laughs> If you see someone At a music festival With super dry on Stay well clear They'll be rifling Through your pockets <laughs> Come to the side wee man <laughs> I you loved my super dry buying. jacket You <laughs> put your thumb Through the anybody. hole Right up to the neck And you were like I'm at a tank and then 14 zips and all <laughs> that <laughs> and Aye some power is up. I used to chew mine. It did be plastic. I'm at a squatter. <laughs> that uh, the least surprised thing I've ever heard. I'm surprised you stopped at the zip and didn't just go for the whole jacket. <laughs> ah, you could well see you tuning things. I chew in everything. I'm murder for it. Mm-hmm. Like, see, like bottle caps. Got metal uh, bottle cap. I love chewing fucking. That'll it, be dude. fucking doing something to your head, man. Uh, like microplastics <laughs> and all that. I know. But saying that, you could. How do we not know that he's the Floyd Mayweather's body is <laughs> defeating microplastics? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what's been keeping him gone. Mm-hmm. That's Paul and Why are you into that, man? <laughs> so but I do chew everything, man. Cunt's ears off. <laughs> Inside <laughs> these <laughs> face. <laughs> to be fair, I, I bite my f- lips in my sleep. No. I am quite bad for I, right I grind my teeth right in that. I chew everything to it Swallowing it That's a fucking issue For me to <laughs> just, can't just, know. just chew everything <laughs> That's the joke Ryan <laughs> Ryan makes the right jokes He just fucking gets some off me <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried that I don't like to do your bits on the pod Did you try that I did I tried did, it in the village How week. did it go I went quite well nice. I tweaked it a wee bit But I went good Oh. You ever been stabbed, Jack? <laughs> what a no. fucking segue! Oh. No. Did you mind if was that thing about where folk used to stab folk up the arse? Was that <laughs> like a pure gang one? Aye. Aye. That happens with like Italian football ultras. <laughs> Is that, eh? Aye, they still stab you folk up the arse. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I it's, like, it's up the hoop. <laughs> Didn't do any. And then you need to walk about with a bag to catch all the things thrown at you. That's what I've heard. <laughs> what are you keeping in your arse? <laughs> Anything you want after you've been stabbed up <laughs> Brilliant man We've all got that uncle to be fair <laughs> <laughs> It was a fucking tapping. 
mir eine Tappe auf, ich bin Stapel. Das ist auch noch im Go. Stapel Nazis. Das ist like. Did you have a good Easter? <lacht> Do we get lots of eggs? <laughs> I don't get any of them. Oh, Wayne's got Hunter's eggs. I know, but... I think it's real. What is... What's the egg thing? <laughs> because mine used to get the wee cup in it. Ah, there's no fucking new? cups anymore, isn't there? There's like 85 pound ones at Chocolate Hotel and all that now. It's uh, went mental. Easter has went fucking tonto these days. Look, when I was younger, it was just, you get an egg. And that's Aye, it's it. a second Christmas, sound? isn't it? Aye, yeah, no, Wayne's just got an egg. Now it's like Catholic WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> People have got fucking entrances and signs and all that. Well, I, I, Jesus would be the surprise entrant that year, yeah. wasn't he? Back off! He's in with a steel chair! Judas! Judas got with a steel chair! Because <laughs> I, I get a very angry text off um, my ex-woman going, where's the fucking main Easter? I'm like, I've got their eggs in the house. Is that all you're getting them? I'm sure, I thought that's all you got wins in Easter. I didn't know you had to go fucking off. That's what get. I I each fucking there you go. I mean fucking day whatever you day Easter. <laughs> Eat eggs. But I, I I was fucking sure. Aye, but he's getting into the house with a carton of twelve. I've uh, what do you mean? Where did I get them? I've made them an omelette. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even get the free range ones, you got the fucking uh, battery ones. The caged ones. It's your favourite way to prepare prepare eggs. Um, Fuck them in the bin, they're minging. <laughs> what? Really? Eggs are weak in a dog shite. French toast, actually. I like French toast. There we go. You go there in the end. There you go. <laughs> 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 Fucking done it. You've done there. After he's made to die. Uh, <laughs> Complete one. I would go hash brown again. Hash brown. Aye. You can do it if you put your mind to it. Mm-hmm. Hash brown. Hash brown eggs. <laughs> a, a, a I'm, so, I'm egg. honestly raging. Have you seen roast it? Roast, roast eggs. Roast it eggs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Callbacks uh, here. The, Scramble, the, come on. <laughs> on the, on the George Foreman. You ever it. cooked an egg on a George Foreman? I don't know what you, how you're using your George Foreman. You wank it off the box. I know. That's how you get the bat. You just need still and fucking do all the chickens, don't you? Has George Foreman got Parkinson's? Are you I getting know, that mixed up with Muhammad monster. Ali, who's also no, dead? No, they're all riddled with it. Aye. There's only so much steroids Sweep and generalisation you can take. Uh. Sweep and generalisation of all Asian boxers? Uh. No, come on. He's not Asian. Asian, I see. <laughs> Is he Barry not Pacquiao's affected? going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised George Foreman's no fighting fucking Jake Paul next or some shit. That's do you know yes. what... Do you know, <laughs> do you know what George Foreman's wins name is? God again. George. George, 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 and George. And he's got, I think, four daughters, and they're all called Georgina. Uh, George, George, George. <laughs> so he called four guys George. Is George four men? I he heard four uh, men. Ah, uh, no way. I heard that he's got a stepson that he doesn't really like that's called George Airfryer. <laughs> <laughs> George Asda. <has them. laughs> that family's fucking cleaning up, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh dear man oh. That is the sign of a mental deficiency that What? what? <laughs> Just this? forget me you called the last Hey <laughs> George uh, uh, yeah, Call yeah, the last one George Call the last one George well, I've, well, I've, heard <laughs> the, I've, I've heard the boxers and all that saying like Retiring Why retiring I want to remember my Wayne's names He's got no fucking yeah, sense right. nah. <laughs> He could fight the new man He's good <laughs> Dold I mean he's wild That was he, wild <laughs> 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 I was trying to do something that's been... <laughs> oh, that got a hole here. Aye. Aye. So you're gigging the night? Aye. Um, aye. <laughs> you better get ready to go. Aye, pretty what, much. What like time? Like, uh, eight o'clock. It's it's half seven. Be, aye, it should be here, man. Aye. I mean, it's... Aye, fuck it. It's half seven. Aye, we're trying to... Aye, better put up. Well, that'll be us then, since you've just... <laughs> I know, man. I just <laughs> has to be. I was having too much too much a good time there, man. But um, I'm opening as well, so I've fucking... Aye. Better make ah, sure we you're thoroughly time. enjoyed that. Yeah, if you right. Back to comedy um, on Instagram, uh, TikTok, um, Jack Trainer, all that jazz. Um, plan on starting a podcast soon. Keep an eye on that. Give us a follow. Come say hello. Share the guy's stuff, man. Thanks for having us on, lads. Thanks for, Thanks coming, for coming out. Thank you. Trainer, Cheers, trips.